really is a great movement option on like Battlefield, FOD, or the platform over there. Even things like Delfino, like it's it's pretty hard to take a Ganon who plays a platform once he's mastered uh, down the edge game. Right. It's not even just that, his Waveland movement is really good. Akuma's been working on his movement when we've been practicing. A little bit of a greedy uppy. He's gonna make it back. Taking a pretty comfortable 80% uh, stock lead. Kuma is a very, very smart Ganon. And the biggest difference between him and the other Ganons here is that he is a strictly PM Ganon. He knows how to whip. He knows how to whip. He's not really a melee player. <laughs> but yeah, every time he's come places, he's like completely surprised people who think like this dude stopped playing a while ago. He's not a threat. He still plays at OU every week. He's still a threat. Cannot count this man out ever. Oh, that was so smart. It's not gonna matter though. Conrad's gonna get the nair. I don't know how familiar Kuma is with Lucario. Because Lucario is another one of those characters that Michigan doesn't really have a lot of. Ew, it's Paul. Uh, what do you think of this matchup? Lucario uh, wins. Because you're just a god, anyways. Yeah. No, honestly, Kuma, I've never seen him practice. This is the cleanest his movement's ever looked. I was telling you that yesterday. He's he's been practicing his movement. And all of us noticed it on Friday. Yeah. Like, this is try hard Kuma. This is what Kuma looks like when he gives a fuck about the game. He normally just doesn't fucking play. He only cares about doubles for the most part. Yeah. I was like, okay, I want to win sixes. Ganon Claw gonna end the edge guard from Conrad. Down B. Yeah, that should be no good DI. He still has the signature Kuma things. His greatest strength, but his greatest disadvantage. Makes unexpected odds for a lot of them, I'd say. Right. If I recall, last year he lost his set game 5 to Tavi because he made a crazy down air offstage as Wario and just missed. Oh, damn. Like, that's the kind of shit. That's the kind of stuff he does and he doesn't care. Wow, what the it. hell? It's crazy. AJ's sick. Big combo from Conrad. This is disgusting. He gets out of it. But that's still 76%. The up smash is so- Oh! Just punched him. He just gave him the punch. Reverse fair. That might- Wow. Great recovery and great response to that. But he makes it back. Even with like that amazing response from AJ, like Conrad could not be put in that bad of a position. Good, good option to get back to stage. Conrad covering the platform, he's just gonna go to ledge. Is that it? Yep. Wow, I fell off the top. No Remember hero right now. It went always great hope for the Arcadian because Oro dropped out, I think. Oro dropped out? Wow. I saw him get DQ'd against Blair. He had to go wrong. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow, he dodged him back here. Oh, this is gonna be big. Damage. Conrad's been down for pretty much the entire set, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Up air will take it. That was close though. Conrad, I think Conrad was just kind of figuring out what to do in that matchup in terms of combos and where to go in. Now this is going to be a lot tougher. Instant ban on FD as expected and then Delfino's. Yeah, Ganon should never go to FD. Ever. He doesn't have the mobility for it. His mobility is entirely reliant on platforms. Also, combos are way worse than FD. Right. By the same virtue, you can't move as much. Alright, it's going to be uh, PS2. Uh, Conrad's got the home field advantage here because this is a Pokemon stage and he's playing Lucario. Oh my god, the I power! Starting off pretty strong. That was, that was scary. Wedge dash shield. Just get rid of it. That should do it. No. Good DI to prevent. But PS2 has a pretty small ceiling. Yeah, but Ganon, Ganon's big, dude. He's like one of, he's like third or heaviest. Yeah, he's a pretty big boy. 
Yeah, Conrad looking much more commanding this game. We'll see how it goes, though. Wow. No matter how, no matter, no matter how much you think you've uh, figured out someone, AJ, you've, you've never really figured out AJ. He'll do zany stuff when you don't think he's going to. What? I'm so scared of him. I guess that clanks. Okay. Back here, does it? Surprise back and kills him. He just cranks so hard. I've never seen him try yet. Nice flame choke. But a crouch cancel detail from Conrad just kind of turns it around. That was the. Uh, what happened there? Flame ah! choke! <laughs> dirt boy! That's not a dirt boy. You can't yell at it. That, that was the ball sack. Oh, I see. I, I don't know the difference. He evened it up so fast with that. And now Conrad's just. Combo. This is insane. 100% combo. No. And he SDs. Yeah. He had to do something. I think he hit the wrong C stick. Because he had to do something because he didn't have to jump. Oh, wait, let's go shield at that time. Oh, this is this is a uh, big percent here. Oh, he he wanted it all. Good DI from Kuma though. Wow. R calls out the down B. It's so hard to call out that. It's so hard to call out Luke. Reverse fair. And calls him out again on the drift back. Last stock. Oh no. I respect not chain grabbing, but I wish you did. Kind of a scary situation, 112% off stage. This game is like so bad as it is. Oh! Oh, oh Jack! Oh, the punch! Oh, the punch! Oh, he has one chance to make it back here. That's, That's it! Let's go, AJ! Both games are super.